What's up guys, Rampage here again, bringing you today's question of the day. So for today's question, I'm going to be asking you guys, what is your favorite shiny first generation Pokemon? Now, that includes, you know, Pokedex entries from Bulbasaur to Mew, or Mewtwo, one of those, I forget which one is the last one. But, <clears throat> um, I'd probably have to say that my favorite shiny first gen Pokemon is Charizard, and probably Mew would be a close second. Yeah, but Charizard, he just looks cool as a black Pokemon. He, he does. It's, it's undeniable. So, <laughs> yeah, that's my answer. Leave yours in the comments below, and let's get started with the battle. Yes, my opponent does indeed like to eat dicks, so now that we have that all out of our systems... <laughs> oh my gosh, what, what is up with his name? I don't know. But anyway, anyways, what's up guys? Rampage here. Today I have another showdown battle for you guys. It's a UU battle, and I'm using that same UU team that I've been using with the Meloetta. And my opponent, when I look at his team, the only real threat that I'm really seeing is the Kingdra. And that is if it's the Rain Dance set, so I really got to watch out for that. Um, Victini could be threatening if I lose Blastoise, but I'm not really too worried about it. And those are the only threats I'm really seeing on his side of the field. So without further ado, we can actually get started with this battle. So my opponent's going to lead off with his Kingdra. I'm going to lead off with my Mianchao. I know I'm faster because I'm Scarf, so I'm just going to U-turn, first turn, and go out into my P2 in case he wants to go for like a Hydro Pump or something. Turns out he's actually just going to go for a Substitute the first turn in the game. And I'm like, no, I can't let that happen. So I'm going to switch out into my Blastoise because I have the Roar. I could just phase this thing out. And I know I should be able to take a plus one Outrage, so... I just got to phase this thing out, but it turns out he's actually going to be a greedy motherfucker, <laughs> which is good for me because I'm not able to take, well, I'm now not able to take any damage. Just going to go for a roar, roar him out into his Victini, and I know the electric move is more than likely coming, so I'm going to switch out into my Needle Queen, be a beam to that, and I can just take this chance to set up my Stealth Rocks because I was thinking that he's more than likely choice, that's what most Victinis are. And I am just going to set up my Stealth Rocks as he actually brings in his Blastoise. And my Stealth Rocks are up, he has a Pokemon that doesn't like him, so I know he's more than likely just going to Rapid Spin, so I can actually stay in, go for Earth Power, get some damage off, <clears throat> and then switch out into my um, Porygon 2 to take any hit that this thing wants to go for. He's actually going to go for the Scald, which is, of course he's going to go for a Scald, my Needle Queen was out, but, um, no, he burns me, so that kind of sucks, <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going with this narration, but he burns my Porygon 2, that sucks. And then he's going to go for a Protect, which you usually don't see on Blastoise anymore. But it kind of works to my advantage because I know that he doesn't want to take a Discharge, so he's more than likely going to switch out. And I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave, and I catch his Heracross, which, you know, could be a good thing or could be a bad thing. But before that, let, let's just let's just look at my bad play right here. <clears throat> so I'm actually going to make a stupid over prediction and go for the Earth Power. I should have just went for a Fire Blast. I really didn't think he keep his hair cross in though I thought he would switch out into his Victini um, to take a fire blast and then just hit me with a strong move but that's not the case and he's just going to obliterate me with an earthquake <clears throat> which means that he's either um, you know guts with scarf I guess or banded with guts or banded moxie I don't know he's just able to clean Oko me I'm thinking that he's just banded and guts but we'll never know so yeah, let's just resume with the battle. So he's going to obliterate my Needle Queen's life, and now I'm just going to bring in my Chandelure. Not messing around with this threat, just going to go for a Fire Blast, and he switches in his Apom. He has a Blastoise. <laughs> Why did he switch in his Apom? That thing just got destroyed. I, I, I think that was just a bad play, but anyways, now he's going to bring out his Blastoise. I'm just going to switch back out into my P2. I can take this chance to go for a Recover. Uh, and recover off like all my damage <laughs> as he's just going to protect so that's that so yeah this is where I protect Blastoise is kind of you know working against him but I'm just going to go for a discharge right here I believe just in case he wants to keep his Blastoise in and I'm going to discharge the Bisharp I am able to get a crit on him which kind of sucks I don't know how I'm... well actually I think it does play a role right here I think he gets fully paralyzed no he doesn't he actually he actually um, gets up the Swords Dance so never mind <laughs> Disregard what I said, but anyway, I'm going to switch out to Blastoise because Bisharp's a threat, and I just want to roar him out. And I roar as he switches out into his own Blastoise, and I roar him back out into his Bisharp. And predicting him to predict my roar, I'm actually just going to stay in and go for a Scald. Turns out he knows I'm going to attack him, and he's just going to go for a Sucker Punch. 
Now I'm going to roar him out again as he switches out into his Kingdra. And I roar him out into this um, big ass threat known as Big Teeny, which kind of sucks. So I'm going to switch out into my P2 as he goes for a Bolt Strike. And that did nothing to my Porygon too. I don't know if that's Bandit or Scarf. That looked like Scarf damage to me, but I, I, I just don't know what that Porygon, I mean, that Big Teeny is. So anyway, I'm out with my Porygon against his Heracross. I don't want to take a close combat, so I'm going to switch out into my Chandelure, hoping that he's going to go for a close combat and not obliterate my Chandelure with an Earthquake. Turns out I'm right, and I'm just going to go for a sub right here, thinking that he's Choice Locked. I can just, you know, set up a sub, go for some Shadow Balls, and pretty much destroy his Blastoise life. And I'm able to do 50% to this Blastoise, which is nice, but I don't know if I'll be able to take him out with one after um, lefties. So I'm going to just hope that I'm able to, and it turns out I am able to take out his Blastoise, which is nice. I got a higher damage roll, which was in my favor. And now he's going to bring out Kingdra. I'm thinking Shadow Ball should be able to take this thing out, but no, no, that's, that's not the case. And he has Hydro Pump. So we saw Sub DD, and now we see Hydro Pump. What? I, I, I don't even. But anyway, I'm just going to go into my Mellow Weather, go for Relic Song and destroy his Kingdra. I really can't sweep just yet though because one, he has the Heracross which is at full I think and he has this Victini which can live a Shadow Claw so I'm going to switch out into my P2 and he's actually going to go for a U-turn. I thought he would just go for a Flare Blitz because I'm thinking that he's Scarfed at this point. Um, So don't know why I did that but anyway I'm just going to Ice Beam on his Heracross. I really can't switch anything into this thing because I'm you know, fearing this thing. It can pretty much obliterate my whole team. So I'm just leaving in my Porygon to his Death Water. I'm going to go for some Ice Beams, get some damage off on this thing. He does get paralyzed, which is unfortunate for him. Don't know how much it mattered, though. So, yeah. But now I'm going to bring out my Meloetta, go for a Relic Song, take out the Heracross. And I don't know if this Victini is Scarfed. I really didn't think... I really thought that... Ugh, let me slow down. I really thought that it wasn't Scarfed, seeing as though he went for the U-turn last time he was in against my Meloetta. So I'm just going to stay in the Shadow Claw. I am able to get a crit on him, which is kind of unfortunate, and the crit kind of mattered on his Victini. But I do have Serene Grace, and Shadow Claw does have a high crit ratio, so I don't know. Um, the crit did matter, but I do have those, which doesn't really justify it, but it does in, it does in a sense. I don't know. Anyway, I take out the Bisharp, and Meloetta wins me the game, so that's a good game. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did... Um, Please feel free to push that like button. Um, I would appreciate it, and my video would appreciate it as well. Also, leave a comment. I do enjoy reading your guys' comments, and that's pretty much all I have to say. Also, check out my Twitter. Um, you can follow me if you'd like. Like I said, I'm trying to become more active on that. And on that note, I think I will end this narration. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know why I'm saying that again. Thanks for watching. Rampage here, signing out, and peace.